Hey guys, got a new t-shirt coming at you real quick. You've been super supportive with these and I really appreciate it. They've done so well. We've had a joke in our industry for quite some time that as long as there's an internet, we can't get fired. And so I present to you the Can't Get Fired Productions vintage style tee. We have been joking about making this shirt forever and now I'm super happy we finally have. You can only get it until September 22nd, but get the Can't Get Fired Productions Vintage tee. This is like my new favorite t-shirt now. I love this thing so much. I'm going to be wearing this everywhere. Uh, and only through September 22nd. Thank you for watching The Smoking Tire. Now enjoy your one take. Morning everybody, welcome back to Lake Lanier uh, with Gainesville Marina and Boat Sales has kindness, kind, kindly invited us out to test a few of their boats. Mr. John Stovall joining us again, a uh, good representative of the family owned business. This is the Monterey 23 SS Surf. Correct. 238 SS 238 Surf. 238 SS Surf. And what this boat is, is it's for water skiing, wakeboarding, and wake surfing. And it's Correct. a it's a purpose boat. Mostly purpose. Mostly. Yeah. Mostly purpose. Like you don't you can do other things with it, but you don't buy a boat like this unless you want to use it for water skiing and or uh, wake surfing. So exactly. basically how it works is it's got uh, a, a, G, a Volvo Penta right. GM 5.3 LS based marine engine right. with uh, a mechanical connection to the steering wheel, tiller, uh, hydraulic steering, outdrive, right. Right. And, uh, and a cable throttle. Correct. But it has a forward-facing propeller system. Correct. So instead of the props facing this way, they're facing this way. So that moves the prop further forward in the boat. Correct. And also, what else does it do in addition to just moving that center of drive further forward? Well, the big thing is uh, safety for a surfer. So you, you're, you're moving parts are way underneath the boat. So if you hurt somebody with the prop, you've really got a big problem. Yeah, um, like it's, it's no one's gonna jump off the back and, or be, a, a, and get stuck in the props. Exactly. Because the prop is like, it's like up here. Correct, yeah. Um, so exactly. you'd have to be, you'd have to literally run a person over for them to get in the right. prop. Right, right. Um, the other big thing is fuel efficiency. Um, you're getting much, much cleaner water coming out of this prop. Um, instead of all the backwash that you would get from the design of the hull, um, you're getting directly clean water to these props. So it's a lot more fuel efficient. Um, you do lose a mile an hour or two off the top end because it is geared differently. Yeah. Uh, but you will notice with the different gears, kind of like going up and gear in a car, right. it just immensely changes the torque curve of the motor. Yeah, for you muscle car people, imagine going from a, a 273 or a 305 rear end to a 373 or 411 gears. Yeah. You lose top speed, but what you gain is acceleration. Correct. And uh, when you're pulling a skier or, 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 or a wakeboard or a wake surfer, acceleration is much more than top end. Correct. Almost any power Powerboat will go fast enough right. to pull a skier, right. but uh, but it, it, especially for someone who's trying to get up on a wakeboard or something, uh, the faster you can accelerate, the easier it is for them to get up. Exactly. So exactly. we're going to demo how this boat drives, and then we're going to fill up the ballast and make a wake surfing wake and show you how that works uh, real quick. But uh, right now, I just want to show you dynamically how this thing goes. We've been going. Can we go this way? Yeah. Sure. Let's go this way. So I'm just gonna. I'm in gear a little bit. We're idling. I'm just gonna hammer down, huh? Go for All it. All right. Let's see how it accelerates. Sounds like a hot rod. Nose comes up and then it comes right back down. There's 20 miles an hour. There's 30 miles an hour. There's 40 miles an hour. 300 horsepower this boat. Yep. Single engine, 300 yep. horsepower. It's a very light boat. It feels light, right? This line's about 3,800 pounds. 3,800 pounds. It's also got like a stubby nose, right? Yeah. And so because it's got this stubby nose and it's got this set, almost center drive, what it feels like is almost like a mid-engine car. Yeah. It's exactly. almost like driving a Cayman or a Ferrari, the way you don't have a big snout to look over. And also the way it, it maneuvers, it maneuvers almost like a mid-engine car drive. Yeah. The steering is very direct. It can transition back and forth really easily. I'm gonna stay straight here, yeah? Oh, uh, no, we go straight this way. That way. Cruising at uh, 43 miles an hour. Yeah, if you give it a little bit of trim, it will... Uh, and uh, like I, I got so used to the auto trim. Let's trim this thing back up. There, there we go, we feel that ass getting a there little light. Go. That's good. 
middle trim. Yep. Middle trim there. 46 miles an hour, 47 miles an hour. Wow, a little narrow through here, huh? Oh yeah. They keep, uh, keep straight. Straight. What's our depth? Where's our depth here? Uh, depth is... I can't see. Non-existent. Non-existent. Full digital gauges yep. right there? Yep. Straight ahead. Okay. I feel like I like these little islands. This is great. Yeah, you're in the main channel right now, so okay, you're, cool. you're pretty pretty neat. So we've got full digital gauges. You control your GPS. There you go. You 81, 81 feet. 81 feet deep. Wow, 81 feet. Uh, you got cameras all over the boat, so you can watch and record your water skiers and your surfers. Taking this job all right, huh? Not bad. Right through here, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Russ, that's one of the big things about Monterey's hole design. It's, you know, they design them with a very, very sharp V when they call dead runs at the transom. It's about 21 degrees, which, so, you know, it really does help take a child and run it smooth. Most ski boats, when you do a deep V, it, it messes up the wake, and that's right. why they make them flat, right? Exactly, exactly. That's why these have the big trim tabs to articulate them. So let's just go. Check, check out some back and forth handling here at 28 miles an hour. Look at the transitions. You can almost kind of drift it a little bit, yeah. but if you're the kind of person who likes to pull tubers and really give them a ride on the oh, tube, yeah. Oh, yeah. then You'll you throw. want to get the back and forth, you know? Oh yeah, you'll throw somebody off of it without a doubt. Oh, well you want to be able to do that. Right. What's the point of being the guy with the ski boat if you can't eject those Cedo exactly. once in a while? <laughs> So here's a pull from 35. That way? Yep. Yep. 39, 40. There's 43, 44, 45. Pretty good. Not bad. Pretty good. 5,700 RPM. Oh, she's a runner. She is. And then when you back out of it, it really decelerates very quickly very too. Quickly. Yep. Um, yep. You know that's good if you're if you you know you got a skier he drops you want to be able to uh, to get that boat stopped and U turned Absolutely. pretty quickly and here we can just right over our own wake here we go and not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is uh, we're gonna pause this video because it takes about four minutes to yep. fill the ballast tanks and you have to do it at idle. So we're going to pause the video, we're going to fill the ballast tanks, and then we're going to show you what it's like to make a big surf wake uh, with the Monterey uh, Surf. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back and our, our ballast bags are all full. There's three. There's a front, uh, oh sorry, port, center, and starboard. There's yep. three, three bags that fill with water. Four total. Two in the total. front, two in the back. Oh, okay, yep. right. Yep. And you do it all through the touch screen. You yep. just press fill or drain. Yep. And then it makes a surf wake for you using a cruise control system that limits your speed to 11 miles an hour, right. which is surf waking speed. Correct. Yeah. That's you're, it. You're anywhere from about 9.8 to about 11, depending on the surfer. Yep. All right. And we've got a camera on our wake. You choose which side they're going to surf on. In this case, starboard side. We put the camera on the wake, and now, uh, now that's it, right? Let's make some wakes. So you just floor it. Yeah, pretty much. You go in gear, and you just floor it, and uh, this should work. Here we go. Yep, there's the speed holding. Let's take back for some reason. And there's the trim tab adjusting. Yep. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that curl. Look at that. So now you've got a perfect 11 mile an hour surf wake. Yep. It's a little fast. We can adjust it now in just a hair. About 10.6. There we go. So yeah, right where it's starting to and flip you, over. If, that's you, where the... if you adjust your steering a little bit, you can kind of change the shape of the wake. Yep. How about I pay attention to where the boat's going? And you can steer it and make it a little fluffier, or then make it go this way and make it a little kind of curlier. Yep, just do a big loop around. 
So when you're surf waking, are you just going in a circle the whole time, pretty much? Pretty much, yeah. You want a big, wide open area. Uh, you can keep it going straight, obviously. Uh, but these boats, because they're not your inboards, they do like a little bit of rotation. Uh huh. Um, and that's what helps get that wave further back. Oh, okay, cool. And, and it is a little rough out here, so a little choppy and windy. Yeah. But we get. I just wanted to show how that worked, and uh, we get the idea. Yeah. So, so you know, there's other uh, dedicated ski boots, ski boats, uh, Nautique, Malibu, those kind of boats. Absolutely. The the main selling point of this Monterey is that it's actually quite a bit cheaper yep. than those boats. This yep. boat is uh, 80,000 bucks. Yep. 79,999. There you go. Uh, as close as makes no difference, 80,000 bucks. <laughs> and then with the deep V hull here, it's yep. a little more multi-purpose. Exactly. I think. Exactly. Um, but, and the, 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 the argument for the dedicated ski boats is if you are that hardcore about skiing, um, the ballast tanks do fill up quicker. Right. Um, this is four minutes compared to 90 seconds or so. So, um, I'm going to say that's a pretty cool little boat, man. Yeah, it does everything you want it to do. Yeah, it's a fun to drive. It's got room to, to lounge and chill, and uh, and uh, it's got music, and it's got the ballast for wake surfing. I'm going to drain them all right now. You can hear the motor pumping it out now, so we can head back to the dock. But, yeah. John, thank you very thank much you. for your time, buddy. Absolutely. Uh, Gainesville Marina and Boat Sales, thank you to all the kind people who helped us out uh, out there for helping us out. Check out the link in the description if you want to buy one of these boats. Uh, for yourself, help a man out who supports the smoking tire. If you see something you like, call him up. He'll get it for you. Absolutely. And uh, more one wakes, uh, you know, because why not? Boats, I love them. And uh, thank you for watching. See you later.